Hi, welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. This is Dr. O'Connor. Here we're asked to calculate the molality, the molarity, and the mole fraction of ammonia in an 8% by mass aqueous solution. And we're also given the density of this solution. Just a note here, uh, you might or might not have seen this notation. Uh, this means by mass. So this is an 8% by mass solution. So that means that we have 8 grams of solute, in this case that is the ammonia, to 100 grams of the solution. So this is an aqueous solution. So the solution includes the mass of the ammonia and the mass of the water. So let's go ahead and define everything here before we start the problem. Molality is given by moles of solute, in this case the ammonia, over the kilograms of solvent, so the water. And then molarity is moles of ammonia, our solute, over liters of solution. Remember, solution includes both solute and solvent. And finally, the mole fraction of ammonia would be given by the moles of ammonia in the solution divided by the total number of moles of solution. So that would be, in this case, moles of ammonia plus moles of water. Okay, so we have everything we need. So why don't we just go ahead and convert the grams of ammonia to moles of ammonia because we're going to need that for all three of these quantities. So we have 8 grams of ammonia and let's see there are 1 mole of ammonia gives us 17 grams and that would be 0 0.4698 moles of ammonia, 0 0.4698 moles of ammonia. So we have our moles of ammonia, and this should be 17.03 grams. Okay, so now let's determine the how much solvent we have. Well, we know we have 100 grams of solution and 8 grams of ammonia, so the grams of solvent would be equal to 100 grams of solution minus the 8 grams of ammonia and that would give us 92 grams of water. Okay. Now for the mole fraction we're going to need the moles of water, so let's just go ahead and convert 92 grams of water to moles of water. And one mole of water will be 18.02 grams. And that's going to give us 5.1054 moles of water. Okay. So I think here I have everything I need except for the volume of the solution. And that would be for the molarity calculation. So in order to determine the volume of solution, I have 100 grams of solution. What I need to do is use the density of the solution to convert that to volume. So what we have is 0.9561 grams per milliliter. So I can write here one milliliter of solution contains 0 0.9561 grams. So here my grams cancel out. Remember, this is the density of the solution. So I'm able to use this um, as a conversion factor. And then I'll just go ahead then and convert milliliters to liters. So the volume of my solution then will be 
zero point one zero four six liters of solution. Okay, I'm all set to go then. So let's first calculate the molality. And again, molality is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. So we have moles of ammonia, which is 0 0.4698 moles of ammonia, divided by, well, we have 92 grams of solvent, the water. So we can convert that to kilograms. So 92 grams of water. And we know that 1,000 grams are 1 kilogram. So this is going to give us 5.11 molal. OK. Let's calculate our molarity. And the molarity will be the moles of ammonia divided by the volume of the solution. So we determine the volume of solution right here. And that's 0 0.1046 liters. Remember, molarity is a capital M, and molality is the lowercase m. So we have our molarity. And now we need our mole fraction. So for the mole fraction, we need the moles of ammonia as well as the moles of water. So the mole fraction. The number of moles of ammonia, we have 0 0.4698 moles of ammonia. And we'll divide that by the total number of moles of solution. So that would be the number of moles of ammonia plus the moles of water. So water, that would be 5.1054. Okay, and then we just go ahead and calculate this. And that gives us a mole fraction of 0 0.0843. And again, our mole fraction is unitless. So, the best way to approach these problems is to find what you're given, like we did up here. And then from the information given, calculate the moles of solute of solvent, and so on.